Hey guys, uh, today's uh, lesson will be on uh, solving equations where there are now variables on both sides of the equation. And a couple of things I want to, uh, uh, I guess, clarify is uh, in vocabulary, when we talk about combining like terms and when we talk about collecting like terms, they are very, very similar. Usually when we talk about uh, combining like terms, we talk about one side of an equation. Collecting means um, collecting everything on one side or the other. So, um, but both of these I abbreviate often as CLT, and you'll see that in a lot of my um, uh, videos and in our PowerPoints, okay? And like I said, um, since we're going to deal with variables on both sides of the equation, what uh, what you have to do is pick your side. When I say pick your side, it doesn't matter which side you pick, but you're going to collect all your variable terms on one side and all your constant terms on the other. So that's kind of our whole chore is to put everything, all our variable terms, those terms that have variables on one side, and our constant terms on the other side of an equation. Okay. Okay. So our first equation here, 7x equals 4x plus 15. Okay, so what we're going to do is pick our sides. Okay, so I have two sides. I'm going to put my variable terms on this side and my constant terms on the right side here. Now, again, it doesn't matter. I could have picked either way, but let me just give you a little hint. I always look at the coefficient of the variables. And whatever the larger coefficient, in this case, 7, of course, is larger than 4, that's the side I pick as my variable side. Uh, the reason I do that is I, um, I avoid getting uh, negative coefficients by doing that. As soon as you pick your side, now I want to get the variable term off the constant side. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 4x from this side. But if I subtract 4x from this side, I, of course, subtract it from this side. These are like terms. So we collected the, all the x's on this side by combining like terms. So that's the CLT. We both collect and combine like terms. This 15 just goes along for the ride. Now I have just a variable term on this side, a constant term on this side. Now I'm ready to solve, which of course just means dividing both sides by 3. We have x equals 5. Okay. Okay, now what I'd like you to do is try this one on your own, and then I'll come back in and uh, do the work for you. Okay, go. Okay, uh, here notice I do have variables on both sides. I'm going to pick my sides because this coefficient is larger than this coefficient. I'm going to pick my variable terms on this side, my constants on this side. I need to get him off this right side because this is meant for constants, so I'm going to subtract 3x from this side. If I do it from this side, of course, do it from this side. These just go along for the ride. But now notice I have a constant on the variable side. Okay, so I'm going to add 2 to get rid of this because negative 2 and a positive 2 will give me 0. Add 2 to this side. If I do it here, I of course have to do it here. Our last step, of course, is to get x alone. I divide by 2. Okay. Why don't you guys try this one? Okay, again, I'm going to be picking my sides here, and uh, again, I see that 9 is larger than 5, so I'm going to collect my variables on the left side and my constants on the right. I always go about moving my con or my uh, variables first off the constant side, so I'm going to get rid of this 5n by subtracting 5n. Of course, that will uh, sum to 0, but if I do it to this side, I, of course, do it to this side. Now, I want to get rid of my constant from my variable side. Okay, so I add 6 to both sides. Negative 6 and a positive 6 gets rid of the variable. On this side, I have a, a variable term. On this side, I have a constant exactly like I want. Now I can solve for n. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and give this one a shot? Okay, now notice now I have multiple terms. I have uh, more than just two. So the first thing I always think about is I want to uh, clean, uh, clean up one side or the other. So I notice I have uh, like terms here, so I can clean this up, 6y and a negative 3y. I like to clean it up uh, one side at a time. And notice on the right side, I can combine the negative 5 and the positive 17. So I'm going to combine like terms uh, on each side to simplify the expression on each side. Once I get it down to here, 
Now I'm going to pick my side. I'm going to pick this side as my variable side because 3 is larger than 1. Subtract y from both sides. So I got rid of the uh, variable term off the constant side. Now I want to get the constant off the variable side. So I subtract 4 from both sides. Divide by 2 gives me my answer of y equals 4. Okay, give this one a shot. Okay, again, I'm going to clean this side up first by combining like terms. Uh, now, I'm going to, uh, this time, I'm going to pick this side to, uh, uh, to gather my uh, variable terms because 4 is, of course, larger than 1 as a coefficient. So this side is going to be my variable side. This is going to be my constant side. I always attack the, con the variables first, so I subtract x from both sides. Subtract 32 from both sides. Now I've got um, this, so I can divide by 3 to get x equals negative 6. Okay. Okay, give this one a shot. Okay. Now here, there's a couple different things we could do. I could combine like terms or I could distribute, but what I really want to do is I want to focus on, I want to simplify this side and I want to simplify first before I start collecting and combining. Okay, So I'm going to distribute here. I'm now going to combine like terms on this side. So I've cleaned up the left side, I've cleaned up the right side, and now I can go about picking a side. Now, notice negative 3 and negative 6 as my coefficients, negative 3 is actually larger. So I'm going to use this as my variable side and I'm going to add 6, uh, 6k to both sides. And notice what happens, that keeps this positive. I like to do, keep it positive as much as possible. Divide both sides by 3, we get k equals 1. Okay. All right, so um, these are the last two problems I need you to do entirely on your own. Remember, um, your homework should be formatted in a box 8 format. And these two problems will show up as number 7 and number 8 in your uh, box 8 format. Okay, and we will see you tomorrow.